thank you all so much for coming. Um, we're here for a very special occasion. Obviously, everybody here in the room is here for this, not for care right now, but we're, we're appreciative of being able to use the space. Um, I'm the public affairs officer for West Texas VA, and Tess Gooding gave me a call about two months ago, about, and said she's had a special situation that she needed some guidance from public affairs. She said, we have a, a veteran who uh, is going to be receiving his diploma, the principal's all on board, everybody's excited about it. And I said, awesome. We would love to help out, but let me see what we can do for that. And I said, well, let's, uh, obviously, we'll, we'll just go to the school. Tess is like, well, it's not so simple. It's not so easy. <laughs> she explained to me that the school is in Iowa, so it took me a little bit of explaining and, and, and trying to figure out what, what exactly is going on. And I said, well, okay, well, let's do it here at the VA Center. And so we're happy to be able to host this, and, and we're honored to be able to do this for you, sir. Um, I'm kind of representing our director, Mr. Cave. He wanted to extend his appreciation for you and all you've done through our country. And you know, we're, we're happy to be able to do this for you today. This is a very important for you and for, for your family, and we're excited to have you all here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the time over to Principal Kevin Litterer. He's going to give us uh, kind of an opening bit, and then we're going to do the ceremony. Is that all right, sir? Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys uh, for allowing me to be a part of this. Um, I want to introduce myself first of all. My name is Kevin Litter, and I'm the high school principal of Eastset County High School in Lakeview, Iowa. Uh, Eastset County High School is made up of four small rural communities. Lakeview has a population of 1,067. Sac City has a population of 2,001. Uh, Wall Lake has a population of 731, and Mr. Husingay's hometown of Auburn has a population of 305. <laughs> <laughs> These four rural communities are very close-knit. Everyone has connections to everyone else, and news in one town quickly is shared amongst the other three communities. I'd like to share with you the process we took that allowed me to have the distinct honor of presenting to Mr. Husingay his high school diploma. You see, I am here representing many people who made it possible today. As you listen to this story, you will see why I'm proud to be a member of the East County School District, why I'm proud to be a lifelong Iowan, and why I'm proud to be representing so many people back in Iowa who want to wish Donald Husingay congratulations on a compliment and thank you for his service to his country. So this is how it all began. On November 18th, I was in my office when my administrative assistant, Angela Merida, answered her phone. All of a sudden, Angela jumped up and said, Kevin, you need to take this phone call right now. So I picked up my phone, and for the first time, I heard the voice of Tess Gooding. Tess told me she was calling from San Angelo, Texas. She informed me she was a social worker on the San Angelo community-based outpatient clinic as part of the West Texas VA. Tess went on to tell me that she had met a gentleman by the name of Donald J. Kuzingay. According to Tess, Donald was a former resident of Auburn and was attending Auburn High School in 1943 when he was drafted into World War II. Tess informed me that Donald participated in the Normandy invasion and spent time as a POW. Tess then disclosed to me that Donald had informed her that of all of all his accomplishments, service to his country, a wonderful happy marriage, and raised a family that he had one regret. He never went back during his high school diploma. Tess wanted to know if I'd be willing and able to help Donald J. Boozingay in a high school diploma. My answer was absolutely yes. I would be honored to help make this happen. I think Tess and I hung up the phone at about 1.30 p.m. that afternoon. I immediately spoke with Angela Meredith, my administrative assistant. I asked her if she knew anyone who might have a copy of a diploma from Auburn High School. Uh, she called the mayor of Lakeview, and he was an ex-Marine, and asked if he knew of anyone. He said he would look into it. I then went down and talked to my business manager, John Kraft. John's mother taught in the Auburn building. John's sister 
purchased the Auburn building and currently resides there. So the, for the high school still, still stands in Auburn. After talking with my high school team, I called Craig Hornets. Craig is my Jasmine's representative, who I've worked with for 17 years. He is my go-to guy when I order high school diplomas, hats, gowns, anything associated with graduation. I've been going to say after all these years work with Craig, he's a good friend who gets the importance of a high school diploma. I presented the story to Craig and asked him if it was possible to replicate an Auburn High School diploma to the class of 1943. I loved Craig's answer. He said, absolutely. This is exactly what Jocelyn's does. Give me a sample of the diploma and we will get it done when you need it. By the end of the day, on November 18th, in a matter of 2.5 hours since I taught the test, I had a copy of an Auburn diploma, I had Craig Warnos working on the diploma from Jocelyn, and I had a friend of mine, John Kraft, said, I'll fly you down to San Angelo if we can get you down there. You know, that, that is an Iowa value yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that you bring to this, and it's Iowa nice. And so I can't thank enough all those people that helped in that. So on Friday, November 19th, I had a meeting with my teachers and warned them about Donald. I talked with them about my conversation with Tess Gooding and told them what our goal was, to get Donald his high school diploma. As I was telling them the story, I saw several teachers crying. On Monday, November 22nd, the East Eastside County Board of Education had a regularly scheduled meeting. As part of my address to the board, I informed the five board members of my desire to help Mr. Husingay get his high school diploma. I explained Mr. Husingay's background and his service to his country during World War II. On that evening, Jay Stoltenberg, a veteran himself and board member, made the motion to grant Donald J. Husingay a high school diploma from the class of 1943. It was seconded by another, another board member, Lori Kluber, who worked for the Iowa Department of Veterans Affairs. The motion passed 5-0. After the board meeting, word traveled about what was going on. I started receiving emails, phone calls, Facebook messages about what, what was happening. The word was out about this mission, and people were excited and wanted to get involved. I posted on my personal Facebook page a story of Mr. Gay and how honored I was to be a part of this. Word spread, people were excited, there was something good to talk about, and it was Donald J. Gay, former resident of Auburn, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, the following has happened. West Central, Iowa Rural Water, Jason Barron has contacted me and said, what, what help do you need to get down there? The students of Eastsack County, elementary, middle school, and high school have made congratulations cards for you. ACCI TV from Des Moines is at the high school right now. They have 140 students in the gym watching this ceremony. <laughs> John Ryan from 1380 Key Sim and interviewed me about the story to get more information out from the listeners. I had two other television stations, Team Lake and KCAU out of Sioux City, that wanted the story as well. Members of the Sat County Quilt Affair Organization, representing the Quilts of Valor Foundation, created a quilt for you. The name is spelled, that's called Stars of Valor, Valor, and was made by Quilts of Valor Foundation member, Carol Lee Prince Colviat, and I have it over here, I'll present that to you later on. My, my personal Facebook post has received 618 likes, 121 comments, and over 160 shares. So, <laughs> so the final chapter in this story is the most important. And the reason we are gathered here today with friends, family, and well wishers. Donald J. Gay, will you please come forward? <coughs> County Community School District, the Eastsack County Board of Education representing Auburn High School, the state of Iowa, and a grateful nation. It is my pleasure to inform you that Donald J. Gay 
has met the requirements for graduation from Auburn High School, both in the classroom and on the battlefield. You will be hereby recognized as a member of the graduating class of Auburn High School, 1943. Mr. Husenbeck, it is my honor to present you this diploma. You are now considered an alumni of Auburn High School, class of 
said, uh, members of the Sac County Quilt Organization representing the Quilts of Valor Foundation created this quilt. Uh, they have given out over 150 quilts to Sac County veterans who have been impacted by war. And uh, this quilt is called Stars of Valor. And it was made by a Quilt of Valor Foundation member, Carol Lee Prince Poliak. And they gave this to me on uh, Monday. Monday, on Monday. <laughs> presented it to me and I presented it on behalf of, 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 of the of the quilt of Valor. So, and there is on the back of it, there is a little emblem that says this is an original Quilt of Valor quilt. I want to get it out and I want to give it to you and I want to show you it's a blanket and it was made by the Luden and the Presbyterian and the Methodist churches in Atlanta, Texas and I'll get it out and show it to you. <laughs> <laughs>